Tormenta in their pink blue and light blue kits. And we're underway, referee Ricardo Fierro. Spent his time in the USL Championship, but getting the call here on loan from Charlotte FC. You may see him on the left and on the right this evening. It's a good ball served in, off the head. Overtime. Overton, it's the right side of the bus with the shot, it's in! Gabriel Overton! Didn't really have much support, decided to take it on his own. Got away with the shirt, got away from the shirt pull, and then what a strike, TJ Bush will want that one back. Dimmick was thinking about it there for a second. Four man wall for TJ Bush. It's a strike by Overton, it's low and a great save, TJ Bush. Sis still with it. Chips it back across, but Omar Sis may have been offside on the original strike. Also a great strike by the veteran, especially with the traffic in front, but Bush saw it well. Out wide to Hager. Santos. His left foot across in is a decent one, looping header. Never gonna beat TJ Bush from there. And they do with Sterling. He's got a Kale ahead of him. Kaziah Sterling slips it through beautifully to RJ. Kicks for RJ, just past the far post. Coca-Cola replay, Sterling opening things up. Santos has been beaten by RJ, his first touch was perhaps a little heavy. And that made things slightly difficult. Maybe just away from goal. RJ, Sterling had a relatively quiet first half. Can he open the second half with a bang? Yes, he can! Kaziah Sterling, what a start to the second half for the home team. The man from England ties it up at one. It's RJ to Sterling, just wasn't really closed down. It was just one lovely touch to his right, and that's a quality finish. As with the first goals in Dejas, you probably think he should have done better, but it was a rasping strike from Kaziah Sterling. In the first 15 minutes of the second half, Second most in the league, and now he's Sterling again through, and that's taken down by Acosta, and that could be the end of the night for Acosta. It is a red card for the center back for Charlotte, and oh my, how the tables have turned here in Statesboro. Cut across the path of Acosta. Will be laying it off to Overton with the strike, it's low, and Bush with a good save. He got down well. A little layoff to create the better angle for the Frenchman. Impressive with the first one, but he had to get down quickly. This was struck well by Overton. Just taken now by Cabral. So Dejas comes for it, doesn't get there. Bill Hart looks for the handball from Bennett. And it will be a penalty kick, it appears. Here's another look at it here from the slow motion. The arms were up, and it, well, that angle looks like it hit him in the face. It didn't look like it clipped. Touched his right arm. It's a very harsh decision. Up step Sterling. The long run up. Scores! Kaziah Sterling gives the home team the lead here with his 15th goal of the season. And the second of the night for the man from England. Here's a replay of the penalty team. It's a very calm run up by Sterling. A little start of step and the finish as he sent, sent Dejas the wrong way. Charlotte fans still making noise despite their team being down a man and a goal. This one's flicked on by Shevtsov. Try to be hooked away. Down duty with a good stop in the end by Bush. Is there one last moment of drama left in this match? Omar Sis now inside the box. They start for Shevtsov! Right at TJ Bush. The Ukrainian with a chance to be the hero. Ball fell to Shevtsov nicely. It was a nice little touch by Sis. All that shenanigans after the yellow card. Cabral heads it away. Sterling, now he'll leave it. Jamil Roberts with the left footed strike. Jamil Roberts almost put it away. Eric Payaz, and that will do it. South Georgia Tormenta move on to the USL League One semi finals.
Here we go, the Hungry Red Wolves versus the defending champion Owls. The winner to the semifinal, the loser out. Kept alive by Doyle. Good one touch football from Omaha. And now edge of the box, here is Connor Doyle, and Doyle straight at Aviles. The rebound put wide by Brito, what a chance. Let's see it again, it was a great move, terrific build up. That one touch from Heel right to Doyle, who scored a couple weeks ago against Tormenta, this one here from Brito. A single elimination knockout game that sometimes haunt you, but here they come again. Herzog beaten away by Aviles, who makes a second save in the last 60 seconds. Let's see that second shot for Omaha a moment ago. One back by Ali Hadzik, then Heel, then Herzog taking it first time. Jimmy Villalobos and Ortiz again. Against Schaff Brewer, Ortiz pulling it to the top of the area. Carrera lines it up, Carrera straight at Nuhu. And the first save for Omaha's keeper since his return. Brito has Brewer to his right, instead plays it infield to Heel, who now spreads it out to Schaff Brewer. Brewer looking to pick somebody out in the box. Heel sniffing for that second ball. It falls on the edge to Ali Hadzik off the bar. What a strike, he was an inch away. What a hit this was. Ali Hadzik, one touch to settle, second touch, bang, and it rattled the frame. Laces through it, great technique. Omaha fortunate to get away with poor marking there. It falls to Carrera, and Ray Ortiz. Ortiz chops back to his right. Ortiz cross, knew who able to gather. Put his cross too close to Nuhu. There's one of those flick-ons. It might fall to Brito, does fall to Brito. His volley is at Aviles, and Aviles palms it down and claims. And Brito, no hesitation. On the half volley, good strike. Ali Hadzik down the left. Into the feet of Corey Herzog. Herzog, Aviles palms away again. Carlos Aviles having an immense first half. Here's Brewer across, it didn't reach Herzog. Top of the box, volleyed along and over the bar, Herzog again. Another smooth move, Herzog was in. He was on target with that weaker left foot this time. Here is a very attacking double substitution for Chattanooga. Rafa Menzingen and Juan Galindres both on. Ortiz and Teixeira, the two men on yellow cards, both make way for the Red Wolves. Lombardi, chance to step into one if he wants. Lombardi drives over the bar. With that optical illusion, it looks like it's in. It's not. Boy, was he close. Good contact, just rise. Ooh, Dalton Knudsen, loose touch. Turned it over now. Espana, Josue Espana has Galindres to his left. It's Galindres, it's over the bar. Knudsen got himself in trouble there, then just had to kick it aimlessly. Espana was on to it immediately. Picked the right pass. Galindres was there. Could not keep it down. And just enough from Schaff. And down the line for Connor Doyle. Doyle from open play serves in another cross, and it's headed right at Carlos Aviles. What a chance for Skiers, who got up, had a free header, and couldn't pick a corner. Defended well. And that's full time. We have played the 90 plus. It won't be enough tonight in this high sense playoffs quarterfinal match. The winner advancing, the loser home. Villalobos, Menzingen, Menzingen rides one challenge. Rafa Menzingen, magic carpet goal. Rafa Menzingen twisting through the Omaha defense. It was Villalobos who sprung Menzingen. It was a lunge from Claudio and he missed and Omaha were in trouble. And Menzingen did the rest. Beautifully to the bottom corner. Knew who no chance. Chattanooga in the lead. It's Rivera. Every touch has to be clinical for Omaha now. Kamatani was almost able to flick it around the corner to Akoff. That's it. The Red Wolves knock out the defending champions and snarl into the semifinals.